everyone, it's Kamari Odom here, AKA KO King Racing. And today we're gonna talk about the first steps on how to get into racing in general, how you get started and what you need. So everyone, here's my comprehensive guide on how to get into racing. This is gonna be an all-inclusive video series. I'm gonna have courses. I'm gonna have all kinds of content for you guys. I'm really gonna be covering this a lot. There's gonna be a lot to unpack here, guys. So I suggest you take notes. And if you need to rewind, I will have the timestamps so that you can go back, listen to whatever you'd like again. Now I'm gonna go in depth on every single time Topic. We're talking about gear. We're talking about cars that you can get into, how to get a license. Let's go ahead and get started. I know I initially said I'm going to have one long video. I'm actually not going to do that, guys, because A, that's a lot of editing, and B, that's just a long time to be sitting and watching one video, especially for the amount of stuff I'm going to be telling you in this video. So I'm going to do this into different parts. If you know anyone try to get into racing or if you're working to get into racing, be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell to be notified of all my videos. Make sure to click all on that bell as well so you don't miss anything. We're going to go based on what I said in my shorts. If this video gets 100 likes and I get 30 subscribers within the next week, I'm going to post the next video early. We have a goal. It's gonna be sitting right here on your screen. If you are watching this in the future, I will have courses and things like that. They will be in every single description I have pertaining to these videos. If you like KO King Racing, if you support me and KO King Racing, I have a lot more exciting things coming up. I say this all the time but I very much mean it. There are a lot of different things I wanna do with KO King Racing, and KO King Racing is not just about how to get people into racing, okay? If you like vlogs, if you like my racing content, if you like sim racing content, if you're into this, be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button right now. If you need to hear more about a particular subject, please be sure to post it in the comments. I read each and every comment. I will not hesitate to answer your question. If you're a partner or somebody that's looking to work with me, send me an email or something. If you're looking for a coach, shameless plug here, guys, go ahead and send me an email, seriously. If that's something that you'd like, again, be sure to email me. One more thing I wanna say, guys, this is a community. We wanna to continue to make motorsports and ourselves better. Please be nice in the comments. When somebody really doesn't understand something, they're just asking for help, and I want people to be able to feel welcome. No question is a dumb question, okay? So please direct it in the comments. First thing, you need money. All right, video over. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding, guys. Yes, you need money, but there's so many different ways to get into the sport, and there's a lot of ways to do it with basically either a lot of money, very little money, or no money at all. Now, the no money at all is hard to believe for a lot of people, but a lot of things I've done in my career, I really haven't paid much of anything for it, especially relative to racing. I really haven't paid that much. Even though there are a lot of people in the sport who've been in the industry a long time who may or may not believe that, I am living, breathing proof. So trust me, and I have not spent a lot of money in this sport. Okay, so I'm not one of those people. We'll get into that. I have a book coming out about my career, how I got into the sport, and my story. So be sure to check that out, guys, and I'll let you know when that comes out. If you're watching this video in the future, it will be in the description below. Make sure to get your copy of the book, along with any of the courses and all the other extra things that I will have. So what are the first steps? The first step is you need to ask yourself whether you wanna make racing a career or you wanna just make it a hobby. This is incredibly important because this will help you set goals and determine how much time you need to take to really get yourself prepared to be in the racing. And it kind of tells you how much money you need to be spending or how you kind of need to go about this because everybody's path is completely different. But that is the first thing you need to do is ask yourself whether you want to make this a career or you want to make this just a hobby or something you do, you know, once or twice a year, or you just want to do track days. Like I said, I will get into that. Once you answer that question, guys, then you need to ask yourself, how old are you? This will help you figure out what path you need to be taking. When I was really young, it was really hard. Racing is an industry that is just not like basketball, football, soccer. It's not like these sports where you just go for a club, you go to the park and you start playing, right? No, that is so not racing. Racing is very much a sport where you have to have money to stay in it, not necessarily to start all the time, and maybe to start and to stay in it, but there are ways to do this without spending a boatload of money. As we progress, you're gonna figure this out. There are a lot of series that you can start in at a certain age, and this really depends on where you wanna go. So say you wanna go into stock car racing, there's a whole ladder series, there's a whole ecosystem within that. If you wanna do formula, there's a whole ecosystem in that. If you wanna do sports cars, there's a whole ecosystem in that. If you wanna do dirt racing, there's a whole ecosystem. If you wanna do drag racing, drifting, you know what I mean? There's, there's so many different series that you can start in, and it really doesn't matter where you start. It matters where you finish. Right. So once you figured out your age, this will help you determine what path 
maybe you can take. Now, you can deviate from this path however you'd like because it's totally up to you. Now, I'll be the first to tell you that age is nothing but a number. I'm an optimistic person, but I'm also a realistic person. Don't sit here and say that you want to go to Formula One and you're 30 years old. Unless you're Lawrence Stroll, I'm not going to say forget it, but I'm going to seriously suggest that you think about a different series. However, guys, it doesn't matter whether you're 5, 15, 45, you become a professional race car driver and a very good one. I'm 24 years old, guys, and I'm still going to Formula One. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what you say. I don't care what anybody says. I'm still working to go to Formula One and IndyCar and some of the biggest and best series in the world. I could care less how anyone feels. And the reason why is because I know that I can do it and I know that I have the capability to do so. And you have to believe in yourself, guys. And we're gonna get into how you even get to that point. Because when you're confident, nothing stops you. It doesn't matter how much somebody tells you you can't do something, you very much can do it. And it's all up here. When you know how to use this, it's a whole different ball game. And I've had people tell me, you know, why don't you try to do something? I'm not going to change. Open wheel is still where I want to go. That's been my dream ever since I was a little kid. And that's never going to change. With that being said, guys, do not let people tell you that you cannot do something. I've had some team owners that I've talked to and have worked with that they didn't start racing until they were 30 years old. Paul Newman, he didn't start racing until he was 40. There are so many drivers that started late and became legends. So again, age is just a number okay in this sport it is just a number so do not let anybody tell you that you can't do something and make money in this sport any and everything is possible the last thing i'll talk about in this video guys is setting goals that is the third and one of the most important things to do as well you have to set goals because your path very much can change but your destination should not okay i will repeat that again your path can change okay just fine. Plans change all the time. But your destination does not need to change. If you want to go to IndyCar, you very much need to keep where you want to go. You can deviate to different series and things like that, but keep that right here. Write it down. Put it in something. When we're talking about goal setting, I will definitely help you on how to do this, okay? Because goal setting is totally up to you. But once you know what goals you want to set, then you basically work backwards to make it happen. Now, that means setting smaller goals, and then you get to where you want to go, right? That could be you buying a racing suit. Okay, that's something that you need to get into racing. Okay, you need a suit, you need a helmet, you need shoes, you need gloves, you need all of this stuff. You need a Hans device, okay? Now, this is gonna differ if you're getting into karting. You don't need a Hans device in karting. You're probably looking at me like, what is a Hans device? These are things we will get into. But this is just the first video. These are the first three steps on how to get into racing. Once you do those three steps, we're gonna get into the next things. In the next video, we're gonna start talking about how to choose a series and what series you should start in. We're gonna stop right there, guys. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to check out the next video coming next week. This is the goal right here. If you wanna support the channel, I have my links down below on these awesome t-shirts and this hat that you see in this video. Thank you for your support if you do decide to do so. Lastly, guys, be sure to share this with a friend or somebody that wants to get into the sport. All right, guys, like I said, this is a community and I can't wait to continue to build it with you all. I'm excited and this is gonna be amazing. Thank you all again. I'm Kamari Odom, and I'll see you in the next video.